In this video, we're going to be painting our trophy head sculpture. So I'm going to start by mixing kind of a base color. And really what's cool about painting is the more colors that you mix, usually the better they end up looking. So generally colors that go straight out of the bottle are pretty boring. So try to mix your colors just to create some more unique, interesting colors. So once I've laid down the base color, I'm going to start adding in other colors and blending them together. So generally when we blend colors together, I usually put one color next to another color and then kind of smush them together by going back and forth over the top of the colors. Um, usually if I take a different brush to do that, it helps. Um, so I can take a second brush and blend the colors in or generally blending the lighter color first and then adding the darker color uh, because the lighter colors are a lot weaker than darker colors so starting light then going dark tends to help as well. And as I'm going along I'm starting to add more details. I'm using a brush with a little bit of paint on it and just kind of lightly brushing sort of fur-like textures into it. Um, that's something we call dry brushing. Now what I'm doing is kind of creating some darker values in the indents of my scales. So I've taken a watered down dark violet color and I just dab it off with a paper towel and so that kind of sinks into the lines. You could do stuff like that whenever you want to create some more depth with your textures. And now I'm adding a little bit of fur texture using that same dry brushing technique. Going back to the scales, adding some pink into there to make everything blend together. And now I'm finally getting into the tiny details. So remember, choose the right brush for the job. If you're doing something really small, get a really small brush. You don't want to be using something too big, otherwise you're just going to make a big mess. Um, usually we save these sorts of details for the very end. Um, that way you don't accidentally paint over them when doing something else. Um, doing the tree bark here, I'm just kind of dabbing a bunch of different browns and greenish colors to make it look like bark. And then I'm going to start making the rings around the tree. So I'm just going to start with a base color and then add in the lines for the rings of the tree as I go along. Um, I'm not trying to stay super uniform with the color. It's going to make it look a little more natural if there's some streaks in the wood. And then going back to using that tiny brush and adding in my details as I go along. So once I'm done with these lines and just my little finishing touches, we have a finished trophy head. So those of you who wonder when I'm teaching, this is usually what is around me when I'm filming these videos. Thanks for watching.